Welcome to the Fine Lecture Series. On behalf of the Perinatology Research Branch of NICHD and the National Institutes of Health, my name is Lami Yo and I am one of the developers of Fine. In this presentation, you are going to learn about some new, exciting, and advanced features of Fine or 5D Heart that have been developed recently. All of this is important because you can use these tools to bring high quality prenatal screening and diagnosis of congenital heart disease to all pregnant women. There are a lot of new features, so this will be reviewed in two separate presentations. In part one, we already discussed five ways to simplify the FIND method further. This is now part two, and here you will learn about performing quantitative fetal cardiac measurements and how to improve the success of obtaining fetal cardiac views using new and advanced features of FINE. Everything that we will review here can be found in this 2020 scientific publication by our team. If you want to read this paper, please go to the main page of our YouTube channel, then click on this website link to the Perinatology Research Branch of NICHD and the National Institutes of Health. On that page, you can access all of our freely available scientific publications on the FINE method. Also, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about FINE, its features, and practical implementation in the clinical setting. More educational presentations will be forthcoming. Now before we discuss part two of the new and advanced features of FINE, let's briefly review the FINE method. This is a novel sonographic method to examine the fetal heart. FINE automatically generates and displays nine standard fetal cardiac views simultaneously by applying intelligent navigation technology to stick volumes of the fetal heart. STIC stands for spatiotemporal image correlation and is reviewed in other lectures of this YouTube series. FINE simplifies the fetal cardiac examination shortens examination time, thus improving clinical efficiency and workflow, and reduces operator dependency. FIND consists of all of the features shown here. You can find detailed information about each of them in other presentations of this series. Now, we will briefly review the steps of the FIND method. The first step in FINE is to acquire a stick volume dataset. For d sonography with stick or spatiotemporal image correlation technology allows acquisition of a fetal cardiac volume dataset and visualization of cardiac structures as a cine loop of a complete single cardiac cycle in motion. We recommend that this be acquired from the four chamber view and within the second and third trimesters. With the four chamber view as the acquisition plane and applying appropriate settings, the volumetric ultrasound probe should automatically sweep from the fetal upper mediastinum down to the stomach in a vertex presentation. A stick volume acquisition is shown here, starting at the upper mediastinum, going through the four chamber view, and finally reaching the fetal stomach. The second step is stick loop. Once a stick volume has been acquired, FINE automatically converts the volume into a two-dimensional cine loop that scrolls in a continuous fashion. This is why it is known as stick loop.
We developed this tool to aid the user in determining the appropriateness of stick volumes before applying the find method to such volumes. Using stick loop, the operator observes whether or not certain criteria are met. You can learn about stick loop in other presentations of this series. The third step is anatomic box. Using this tool, the user marks or clicks on seven anatomical structures within the stick volume. And once marking is completed, this triggers intelligent navigation technology. Find shows the user the seven cardiac structures that need to be marked and in what specific order, as you can see from these buttons. And they are the aorta at the level of the stomach, aorta at the level of the four chamber view, crux, right atrial wall, pulmonary valve, superior vena cava, and finally, the transverse aortic arch. This video shows the marking procedure. First, the aorta at the level of the stomach is marked. Next, the aorta at the four chamber view, the crux, the right atrial wall, the pulmonary valve, superior vena cava, and last, the transverse aortic arch. After the marking process has been completed, the last step is that FINE will automatically generate and display nine fetal cardiac views simultaneously, and this takes several seconds. Here are the nine fetal cardiac views in motion displayed together in a single template for a normal fetal heart. Note that FINE also provides automatic labeling of each cardiac view, left and right sides of the fetus, cranial and caudal ends, and fetal anatomy. In summary, FINE involves the following steps. Acquire a stick volume. The volume is converted to stick loop, which is a two-dimensional cine loop. Mark anatomical structures of the fetal heart using anatomic box. And finally, nine fetal cardiac views are automatically generated. Now we will show fine apply to a fetus with a normal heart. First, the aorta at the stomach is marked. Next, the aorta at the four chamber view, the crux right atrial wall, the pulmonary valve, superior vena cava, and the transverse aortic arch. After this last mark, the nine cardiac views are demonstrated with automatic labeling. For the purposes of this presentation, we have enlarged each of the cardiac diagnostic planes to show them to the user. This is the three vessels and trachea view, the four chamber view, five chamber view, left ventricular outflow tract, short axis view of the great vessels or right ventricular outflow tract, abdomen view, ductal arch, aortic arch, and finally the vena cava. Now we will review the new and advanced features of FINE. This is part two. Remember that the new and advanced features of FINE can be broadly classified into three goals. Simplify the FINE method, perform quantitative fetal cardiac measurements, 
and improve the success of obtaining fetal cardiac views. In part one's presentation, we already reviewed five ways to simplify the FIND method. Now, in this presentation, we will review the other two goals. Quantitative fetal cardiac measurements consist of two features, automatic cardiac access and cardiac biometry. We will review automatic cardiac access first. First, why is evaluation of the fetal cardiac axis important? Evaluation of the fetal cardiac axis in the second and third trimesters is important in both fetal cardiac screening and echocardiography exams. An abnormal fetal cardiac axis increases the risk of congenital heart disease, especially involving the outflow tracts, as well as chromosomal abnormalities. This has been reported in the literature, for example, by Dr. Ship and colleagues, as well as Dr. Zhao and colleagues in cases of Tetralogy of Fallot. Normally, the cardiac axis points to the left by 45 plus or minus 20 degrees in relation to an antero-posterior line drawn from the spine to the anterior chest wall so that the chest is divided into right and left halves equally. The axis is the angle between a line along the ventricular septum and the anterior-posterior line bisecting the thorax. For this normal fetal heart, there is a normal fetal cardiac axis of 45 plus or minus 20 degrees. In this example, the fetal cardiac axis is abnormal, greater than 90 degrees. Therefore, including assessment of fetal cardiac axis with the four-chamber view may improve the ability to screen for congenital heart disease in low-risk populations. Fortunately, FINE now allows the feature known as automatic cardiac axis of the fetal heart. The user does not need to perform any measurements to determine the cardiac axis. Instead, it is calculated by FINE and depicted automatically in the four-chamber view diagnostic plane. It is slightly different from the conventional method of determining fetal cardiac axis. What FINE measures is the angle between the ventricular septum and a second line drawn internally between the crux and cross-section of the aorta in the four-chamber view. Here is a four-chamber view example. Remember that in the conventional method, an anterior-posterior line is drawn from the fetal spine to the anterior chest wall so that the chest is divided into right and left halves equally. However, with FINE, a line is drawn internally between the crux and the cross-section of the aorta. FINE will intelligently measure the angle formed between this line and the ventricular septum. If the ventricular septum is located to the left of the line drawn internally between the crux and cross-section of the aorta, the cardiac axis angle will be positive. However, if the ventricular septum is located to the right of this line, the cardiac axis angle will be negative. In summary, after the marking of seven anatomical structures is completed and the nine diagnostic planes are generated, FINE will depict the cardiac axis automatically in the four-chamber view diagnostic plane. In this example, the axis is 44 degrees. Automatic cardiac axis calculated by FINE has recently been evaluated in the clinical setting. Weikert et al. analyzed more than 1,500 second and third trimester fetuses using the FINE method for automatic cardiac axis assessment. The normal automatic cardiac axis was found to be 38.6 degrees. Significant differences from the normal cardiac axis were reported 
for conotruncal anomalies, as well as right and left heart defects. For example, right heart defects had an automatic cardiac axis of 60.4 degrees. This suggests that automatic cardiac axis calculated from the FIND method may be a valuable tool in identifying fetuses with congenital heart defects. The second new quantitative feature of FINE is the measurement of fetal cardiac biometry. FINE now allows quantitative measurements to be obtained via electronic calipers, distance, elliptical circumference, applied to the cardiac diagnostic planes. This is relevant since the AIUM practice parameter for the performance of fetal echocardiography states that some cardiac biometry measurements are required when performing fetal echocardiography. Why? Because fetal cardiac dimensions play an important role in the prenatal detection and evaluation of various cardiac defects, as well as adaptive changes in fetal cardiac shape and structure. Therefore, fetal cardiac biometry should be considered when there is suspicion of structural or functional cardiac abnormalities. Moreover, biometric measurements such as valve diameter in combination with Doppler echocardiography can be used to derive fetal cardiac function parameters such as cardiac output. A relevant question is whether 4D sonography with stick is feasible and accurate to obtain fetal cardiac measurements. The answer is yes. Indeed, fetal cardiac biometric measurements can be timed precisely within the cardiac cycle using stick because from the cine loop, a specific cardiac phase can be identified and analyzed. Wang and colleagues obtained stick volumes from 150 low-risk pregnancies and 11 cardiac dimensions were obtained. The accuracy was assessed by comparing stick measurements to that of conventional two-dimensional echocardiography. Stick-based measurements were found to have good agreement with 2D echocardiography and the authors reported that stick measurements can be performed by different operators with good repeatability. With FINE, after the nine cardiac diagnostic planes are generated, cardiac biometry can then be measured. Here, caliper measurements were taken at end systole from the inner wall to inner wall at the level of the aortic valve in the left ventricular outflow tract view. The last broad category of new and advanced features of FINE is improving the success of obtaining fetal cardiac views. This is accomplished using the technology known as Maestro Planar Navigation. Maestro Planar Navigation is an independent fine-tuned navigation of a single cardiac diagnostic plane at a time without affecting the other eight diagnostic planes. This involves parallel shift, X, Y, and Z rotations. It is noteworthy that there is no multiplanar display or reference dot tool depicted. Maestro planar navigation applies to only a single cardiac diagnostic plane at a time, while the other eight diagnostic planes are not affected. This is unique when compared to the conventional multiplanar display of sonographic volume datasets. What are the objectives of Maestro planar navigation? It allows the user to improve the success of obtaining the fetal cardiac view of interest when not initially obtained via the diagnostic plane. It provides more information about the cardiac diagnostic plane 
and its surrounding structures. And finally, Maestro Planar Navigation improves the quality of the examination since the complexity of the fetal heart can be studied in greater detail and specific structures shown. Maestro Planar Navigation allows fine tuning of a given cardiac diagnostic plane as a parallel shift or X, Y, and Z rotations by one or 10 degrees. This applies to either stick or static mode volumes. For a given cardiac view, we recommend that the user initially try parallel shift movements, also known as move view on the ultrasound system, before trying rotational movements, as it is more likely to yield optimal information. X, Y, or Z rotations may be performed using the ultrasound machine knobs, which are labeled as X, Y, or Z, or by pressing different key combinations on the computer keyboard. Let's now review the different axes of rotation. This image shows the X, Y, and Z axes. And here are rotational movements around these axes. This is the X rotation, Y rotation, and finally a Z rotation. This video clip shows Maestro Planar Navigation applied to a stick volume. Originally, as can be seen here, the fetal spine was between 4 and 5 o'clock. There is also a vertical drifting spine. Therefore, a possible drifting spine alert as well as a spine location alert and volume reorientation message appears on the screen. Reorientation occurs so that the fetal spine is placed at six o'clock. The marking process continues and nine normal cardiac diagnostic planes are generated by fine. Maestro Planar Navigation is next used to fine-tune three planes one at a time. First, the five-chamber view. Next, the left ventricular outflow tract view. And the vena cava view, specifically the inferior vena cava. Notice that when one image is undergoing Maestro Navigation, the other eight images are not affected. Finally, automatic labeling is activated. Let's look more closely at the fine tuning of each of the three cardiac views. For the five chamber view, this shows the longitudinal view of the aorta. Maestro planar navigation successfully obtains the aortic route instead. In the left ventricular outflow tract view, the longitudinal aorta is now shown nicely. Finally, in the vena cava view, the inferior vena cava is not seen, but Maestro Planar Navigation now depicts the inferior vena cava well. Notice that there is no multiplanar view or reference dot visualized. Here is another example of Maestro Planar Navigation but with a static mode volume. Nine normal cardiac diagnostic planes are shown by fine and Maestro Planar Navigation is used to fine tune three planes one at a time. The first is the left ventricular outflow tract view. Next is the short axis view of the great vessels, right ventricular outflow tract view. And last, the ductal arch 
is improved by Maestro Planar Navigation. Again, note that when one image is undergoing Maestro Planar Navigation, the other eight images are not affected. Automatic labeling is also shown. Let's look more closely at the fine tuning of two cardiac views. First, the left ventricular outflow tract is fine tuned by Maestro Planar Navigation. And then the short axis of the great vessels right ventricular outflow tract view. Both cardiac views are improved using this new feature. For any of the nine cardiac diagnostic planes, please note that Maestro Planar Navigation can now be used as a quick alternative to V's Assistance, which stands for Virtual Intelligent Sonographer Assistance. This is because both have similar objectives. Bees Assistance is a unique and valuable tool of FINE, and we have discussed this in separate lectures of this YouTube series. We are often asked, is Maestro Planar Navigation the same as manual navigation of stick volumes? The answer is no. With Maestro Planar Navigation, there is no multiplanar display or reference dot tool depicted. The multiplanar display describes a volume, such as a stick volume shown here, that is displayed in three perpendicular or orthogonal planes simultaneously, representing the transverse, sagittal, and coronal planes. The three planes intersect at a point or reference dot which is the tool used for manual navigation. The user must specifically decide where to move and place the reference dot on the image when performing X, Y, or Z rotations. In this example, the reference dot is first placed in the aorta and X rotations are performed. Next, the reference dot is moved to the crux, and X rotations are again performed. Please note that any given action will simultaneously affect all three perpendicular planes as shown here. With fine and maestro planar navigation, however, there is no multiplanar display or reference dot tool that exists. In addition, Maestro Planar Navigation applies to only a single cardiac diagnostic plane at a time. Therefore, this technology differs from manual navigation of stick volumes. Lastly, there are a few comments to be made. Despite the development of new and advanced features for the FINE method, the following axiom about 4D sonography with stick should still be followed. Specifically, the garbage in, garbage out principle used in computer science also applies. A stick volume data set that is characterized by suboptimal or poor quality will produce undesired and uninformative output since quality is essential for both post-processing and assessment. The new and advanced features of FINE described in this presentation cannot solve this issue or may not be applicable to some volumes. In conclusion, FINE automatically generates and displays nine standard fetal cardiac views required to diagnose most cardiac abnormalities. FINE considerably simplifies fetal cardiac examination and reduces operator dependency. New and advanced features of FINE have recently been developed. This includes the performance of quantitative fetal cardiac measurements, such as automatic cardiac axis and cardiac biometry. This also includes a new method to improve the success of obtaining fetal cardiac views known as Maestro Planar Navigation. Thank you for your attention.